Corey, last two games first, looking at Walsall, what's it like for a player when, I know you were off the pitch at the time, but it ends the way that it ends. Uh, yeah, obviously it was very disappointing. Um, it's a competition that, you know, had our hearts set on going quite far or as far as it possibly take us. But, you know, it wasn't meant to be. And obviously the manner in what we lost the game, we wasn't pleased about. And to be fair, it was just about a reaction at that point. We knew that, you know, from the 88th, I think it was, onwards, that the game should have been done. And we've been pretty good at seeing games out this season and getting a result. But you know, it wasn't meant to be and you can't win them all. And that day we fell on the wrong side of the result. But for us now, it was about the reaction to it. It is, isn't it? Because people talk about you can have a hangover, you, particularly with the disappointment of a cup competition. It's important to get rid of that. Yeah, definitely it is because, you know, there's plenty of football to be played and, you know, we know we're not going to win every game this season. You know, we're not naive and we want to win as many as possible, of course, but there's going to be weeks where you don't pick up a result, whether you've played well or you've not played so well. So, yeah, the reaction's important and I think, you know, as a group, we, we knew that straight away at the end. Obviously, there's disappointment in the changing rooms. There's you know, words said, but after that, when you come in on the Monday, you've kind of just got to forget about it as best you can. You touched on it there. This is a tight group, isn't it? You do work through things together. Yeah, most definitely. I think it's important, you know, ability and stuff like that will take you so far. But I think, you know, you spend majority of your days around these lads, so you've got to be a tight-knit group. And I think it is important. And, you know, when you're not on, maybe you're an off on the day or there's, you know, six or seven of you that don't put in a performance, I think it's that that gets you through in games because... You know, we're not we're not dumb to think that we've we've won games this year, maybe not playing so well. So, but I do think that's off the back of being such a tight knit group. That Walsall game again on yourself this time. You took that whack. I think it was in the first half. Then you get cleaned out by yeah. by um, by Thomas. We were worried about it. How bad was it in the end? Um, to be fair, when I first did it, I had my doubts because it was all right on the, my bone and my foot, and it was sore. I'm not gonna. Lie, I wouldn't have come off otherwise. But um, yeah, I was disappointed to come off because I did want to stay on the pitch, but. I just felt like I wasn't moving well on it and I didn't want to do further damage. So, you know, Ross obviously and the staff from the side took the decision to take me off. And to be fair, I agreed with the decision. But yeah, through the week it settled down. I stayed off it for a couple of days and was able to train properly on Friday. So, unfortunately, I was available for the match on the weekend. So, yeah, it settled down well now. I don't think I have any more issues with it. Something for us watching, it just felt strange. It was a, it was a day where it looked like it was about to start, but we didn't quite get the spark. Yeah, it's um, it's a hard one to put your finger on, to be honest. We've spoke about it as a group with, obviously, the gaffer and the staff as well. And, yeah, it was just difficult. We never really got going. And I think there was, you know, we knew if we were at it on the day, I think we'd have won that game. And that, that was the most disappointing thing, you know, when you turn up and you know, no one wants to go out there on a weekend and not perform because, you know, you have supporters that come and watch you week in, week out. And, yeah, it was disappointing. And I think, again, it's... It's another game, I don't want to say this too often this season, but it's another game that you probably want to forget about because, you know, come April, May, when it gets down to the business end, I, think, I don't think anyone's going to remember that game. So it's a point in the right direction. We can't look at it as two points lost, although people will, but we've got to look at it as a point gain and we've obviously got a great opportunity Saturday to, to try and get all three points at home. Horrible time to concede. What does that do to the half-time mood in the dressing room? Yeah, um, it is a horrible time to concede, probably, well, other than the last minute of the game. The last minute of the first half is pretty a similar feeling because you think, you know, we've we've done, I wouldn't say so much well, but we, we played some all right football in the first half that obviously led to a scoring. And you think at that point, if we get in a half time, we can then maybe reflect with each other and then second half looks a lot different. Um, but yeah, going in front and then letting them back in, which was obviously... A cheap goal to give away, you know. Um, we've not really done that a lot this season. We've been pretty good at trying to snuff teams out and limit them to shots on our goal. But yeah, it was again hard to go in at half time. But you've still got a half of football to be played, and I think we didn't use that to the maximum on Saturday. And I think we just let the game kind of fizzle out and pass us by, which is disappointing. But like you say, you can't hold on to it for too long because there is going to be games like that within the season. My questions you having to answer them. It sounds like we're beating ourselves up. We're fifth in the table. Yeah. I mean, we're forgetting that, aren't we? Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. You know, fifth's not a bad place to be sat after 20 games. And I think if you'd have said that to us at the start of the season, we'd have took it. Um, I think most teams in the league would have took it. You're in a playoff position. You know, you've got something to play for. You're fighting for something. We know as a group. I know it's a different group, but we know what it's like when you're down the other end of things. And you know, every three points matters. And you're trying to fight for your lives. And I don't think we've got that feel this year and it's nice and we've got to hold on to that. You know, We don't want to start letting games pass us by and we're not picking up as many points as we'd want to. But yeah, we're fifth in the table and again, we've got an opportunity to go even higher on Saturday. So 
we've just got to prepare right and go out there and give the best version of ourselves. Huge game. Do you get caught up in this, this derby day feeling that will come at the weekend? Um, I mean, everyone's different. I can only speak on a personal level. and uh, I don't personally because I let the fans do that. You know, It's a big day for them and you know, there's no hiding that the teams don't like each other. And We obviously had the fireworks situation when we went there in the Papa John's. And Yeah, they know there's going to be a good atmosphere here. You know, our fans and theirs, I'm sure they'll bring a few. Um, but no, I don't think you can. I think it's another game of football and whatever opposition you're playing against, they're both trying to get three points. So whether it's Barrow, whether it's Stevenage, whether, whoever. Um, but yeah, you know, there's, there's, you can't also hide the fact that it's a big game. Um, it's a one o'clock kickoff. I'm sure fans will come out in their thousands and it'll be a great occasion. We're looking forward to it, as I'm sure they are. But I think if we're right on the day, then I think we'll we'll win the game. It's the first of a run of games against teams that are right in that top seven with us, so it's a good chance to put a marker down. Yeah, most definitely. Um, it's Christmas period, so everyone knows how hectic it, it can be, and you've got games week on week around Boxing Day and New Year, and obviously it's just fell where we're playing a lot of teams around us, and again, it's a challenge for us. We wanna If we want to do something this year, you're going to have to compete with the top teams, and I think this season that we we have, you know, Leighton Orient here was a dif- difficult one to take, but we went toe to toe with, you know, what looks now like they're they're flying and they're, they're clear by a little while then. And yeah, so we've just got to get back to what we do and we've got to be at our best when you play teams around the top of the table. What's it like being the captain of this group? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, on obviously a personal level, very proud. Um, you know, I think we've got a lot of leaders out there. You know, we spoke this morning. There's experience in that dressing room and. You know, whoever's whether you've got the armband or not, it's you know you've got to pull together as a group. And obviously, stepping out there as captain of the team, it's it's nice for me. You know, it's recognition that I'm trusted and reliable and and things like that. But yeah, like I say, we've got loads of lads in there that will you know pull their weight, and that if something needs to be said, they'll say it. Simo says exactly that. What you just said, trusted, reliable. When we talk post match, he barely mentions you, other than sentence which says that what's it like for the player when you hear that kind of thing yeah I think I'd prefer that if I'm honest <laughs> um, uh, yeah I'm not I, you know, I don't want all the talk and to, to be talked about it's great for the, it's usually the attacking players that get that so I'll let them do what they want to do but yeah obviously like as a defender my job is to to keep the ball out the back, back of the net and help the team you know obviously when they're trying to do what they do up top it's up to us to show the ship and yeah, obviously being trusted and being reliable is a, is a nice thing to have next to your name because you know you know then that you, there's no hesitation whether you, you, you're called upon and available. So, yeah, it's good for me. The attackers do get it. You're chipping in this season, Gary. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I'd like more, but I think I could have had more as well. So, yeah, there's two so far, but you know I set targets in my own head and I know where that I want to go with that. So, hopefully I can get on a few more on the end of a few more. Last one, might as well end on the world stage. What do we reckon to, to England's chances? Uh, yeah, I think they've got a good chance. Obviously, we watched the game last night and stuff, and you know they've beat uh, you know African champions in a sense. So yeah, they're they're in good stead going into the game on Saturday. Obviously, it's a tough opponent. We know that France are one of the favourites even before going into the competition. But I think if England continue to play the way they're playing, they've got a great chance. Pleasure.